Good morning, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis. Thanks so much for tuning in. Prime Minister, the most honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, is confident the Bahamas will beat the second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic, just like we did with the first wave, with COVID-19 numbers increasing in New Providence and Abaco and remaining steady in the majority of the family islands. The Prime Minister charged in his national address on Sunday that the only way to limit spreading the virus is adhering to all health and safety protocols frequently. More in this report from Altavis Munnings. This week, the Prime Minister has requested Pan American and World Health Organization Bahamas Representative Dr. Esther de Gorville to meet with executives of the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce and Employers Confederation, the National COVID-19 Coordination Committee, and other key stakeholders to discuss specific strategies and the way forward during the COVID-19 pandemic, particularly here in New Providence and in Abaco that has generated high numbers of the virus. He reiterated that one in every 100 New Providence resident is COVID-19 infected. The country is averaging one COVID-19 death per day and medical facilities have reached capacity. Prime Minister Minnis revealed in his national address Sunday that Dr. de Gorville will list suggestions to Cabinet and the opposition in a special meeting in Cabinet on Tuesday. The Prime Minister will then brief the nation on those recommendations as he's expected to address the House of Assembly on Wednesday. Meanwhile, as health officials brand the business community as the latest COVID-19 hotspot, the Prime Minister made this appeal. I once again ask employers and employees to rigorously follow and to adhere to the workplace guidelines agreed by health officials, the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce and Employers Federation and other entities. With the numbers remaining high in New Providence, it is important for us to recommit to following the COVID-19 guidelines fully. We must recommit on New Providence to full compliance with the rules because the current elevated numbers of cases is straining our hospital and healthcare systems. The Prime Minister also outlined new guidelines for COVID-19 laboratory testing. All laboratories providing COVID-19 tests will be required to be registered with the Ministry of Health. Each laboratory will be required to meet testing standards established by the Ministry of Health. Laboratories will also be subject to periodic cross-referencing to ensure quality control. Laboratories will be prohibited from administering the COVID-19 RT-PCR test unless the patient provides all identifying particulars required by the case identification form. Laboratories will now be required to turn around test results within a maximum of 48 hours. Prime Minister Minnis also announced that government's unemployment benefit program will continue until December at $45 million and $10 million has been allocated for the second phase of the National Food Distribution Program that will also end in December. And as government anticipates a full economic rebound from the COVID-19 pandemic, the Prime Minister said that the Economic Recovery Committee presented its executive summary report to Cabinet last week with 163 recommendations and a range of subject areas to spur economic recovery and sustain the country's economic health. Prime Minister concluded his national address by reiterating health and safety protocols to all Bahamians and residents. Wear a mask, wash your hands, sanitize your surroundings, and practice social distancing at all times. I'm Altaviz Munnings, ZNS Network News.